Good morning everyone, myself Assistant Professor Chetan Devashish Posh and today we are going to solve a sum related to sole proprietor. We would presume a sole proprietor has a manufacturing unit and the sum that we have, here we have to prepare manufacturing account for the sole proprietor. The first thing that we should write while solving the sum is in the books of cash. If in the question, if they have written in the books of XYZ, that is the name of the organization that the sole proprietor might have kept. For example, Mahesh Store. Then you have to write the first statement in the books of Mahesh Store. Then, the question that we are solving here is asking us to prepare a manufacturing account. The first thing that we have to keep in our mind is we have to prepare manufacturing account means all manufacturing related expenses would be recorded. All these expenses would be recorded at the debit side. And all the income related to manufacturing unit, maybe a direct income or else an indirect income would be recorded in the credit side. If we see in the question that we have to solve now, that is question number one, here, they have only told us to prepare manufacturing account. So we are not concerned any entries which is related to profit and loss account. We are not concerned with any entries which is related with balance sheet. We are concerned only with the expenses or income related to manufacturing account. Let us see what are the entries. What is the first entry which is given in the question? Opening stock. Opening stock. Opening stock is an expense presuming that this opening stock is a raw material which would be utilized in this current year. So since this expense would be used or utilized in the current year, that is what we would be writing manufacturing account debit to opening stock. What is the amount given for opening stock? 11,000. To opening stock account, 11,000. What is the next entry that we have in the question? Purchases. purchases. Now we have to be very much clear that purchase is also an expense. So it will come at the manufacturing account debit side. So we have to write to purchases account. But generally, you may or you may not have a question which is related to purchase return what is purchase return you have purchased some raw materials but some raw materials are defective unused or else they have been ordered more so that is why we are returning them back is known as purchase return whatever the purchase return is the amount from that amount we have to deduct purchase return now can you tell me what is the amount of purchase 40,000 is the amount of purchase. Then what is the amount of purchase return that we have in the question? 1,000. 1, so what we need to do is, we have to deduct this 1,000 from 40,000 and at the end of the day, what we are going to get is 39,000. Is it clear? This is the net purchase that we have made for the current year. For manufacturing expenses, the ultimum or the net purchase that we have made is 39,000. Moving to the next. What is the next entry that you could see? Like, yes, no facts. Okay. So the question says, likes, gas, and it is related to factory. So basically, it's a factory expenses wherein we are paying light expenses, that is electricity expenses. We are paying expenses related to gas and the amount is 2,000 rupees. What is the next expense wages. entry that wages. we can see? Wages. Again, wages is an amount which is paid to the labor. So again, where exactly the labor works? Labor works in the factory for the purpose of manufacturing. That is why it will also become a part of your manufacturing account, debit side, manufacturing account, debit side, 
wages account and what is the amount of the wages account 20000 20, what is the next entry that you could see in the question right some production now in order to produce we sometimes have to buy certain copyrights we sometimes have to buy certain formulas we sometimes have to also buy certain formulas copyrights and the secrets of the business the other business who would be giving us the secret would also charge us something in the form of royalties so we have to write royalties for production and what is the amount of royalty for production 2000 rupees again this royalty is an expense for our manufacturing moving to the next entry work manager salary work manager salary remember work manager salary is a salary which will not come under office expenses or profit and loss account because we have to read the whole phrase it is work manager where exactly the work manager is appointed generally the work manager is appointed generally the work manager is appointed in in factory for manufacturing unit so as a result this work manager will be a part of expenses of manufacturing so we have to write to work manager salary what is the amount 15000 well your question also include a term salary well salary is not a factory expenses it is an expenses related to office sales or else any expenses which has to be recorded at profit and loss account so not to not to make make sure that you don't include salary in your manufacturing account moving to the next entry repairs to plants where exactly your plant your machinery exist it exist in factory since it exist in factory so it will become an expenses of your factory now since it will become an expense of your factory at the debit side you have to write to repairs okay of plants what exactly the amount is 2000 2000 rupees moving next the entries that you could see in the question sales you see sales when you see a sale it will go to which entry which account again it's a manufacturing account it will include sales and it will be a part of income so manufacturing account credit side will record the income when we will write by sales how much is the amount of the sales 48000 48000 remember not necessary that your sales is always a net sales sometime customer may return you certain products that you have sold to him or her that is nothing but sales return in our question at the adjustment side we do have we do have we do have sales written of 500 rupees that is what we need to record minus 500 so 48000 minus 500 will be 47500 now in our question the last entry which is left is closing stock closing stock is not an income but it has a potential to become an income those finished goods which are lying in your godown and could be converted into sales but was not able to by the end of the year that is why they will become an indirect income for you and that is why we will write at the manufacturing account credit side closing stock account which is amounting to rupees 5000 5000 the next thing that you need to do you need to sum up all the expenses you need to sum up all the income and what is the total that you have got can anyone tell me 91000 okay what is the total of the debit side 
21,000. What is the total of the credit side? 52,500. Which simply means this business have, have incurred expenses of 91,000. But this business has earned 52,500. Now tell me which is more? Expense side or is an income side? Of course, expense is more than income. The first thing that we need to do, we need to write, this is known as totaling column. Under the totaling box, you will only write the biggest amount that is 91,000. Okay, now, since our income is less, it means we are incurring loss, which is a balancing figure. So you not need to worry. Here there is one figure which is missing because you would say, sir, the total of this side, that is the credit side, is only 52,500. How could you write 91,000? Because there is a balancing figure in the form of loss. 